Hello, everyone. My name is Brady Deaton, Chancellor Emeritus of the University of Missouri and Chair of the Board for International Food and Agricultural Development, or BIFAD. I'm very pleased to welcome all participants to this three-day ag exchange on aligning relevant U.S. government research investments with the U.S. Government Global Food Security Strategy of USAID, developed in response to the Global Food Security Act passed by the U.S. Congress last year. The BIFAD and the United States Agency for International Development are excited to be hosting this online dialogue with the international development and food security research communities around the world to inform the alignment of relevant U.S. government research investments with the new global food security strategy. Your input over the next three days will be extremely helpful in this alignment process as we seek strategies that guide relevant U.S. government research investments to most effectively support global food security. I'm here representing BIFAD, a presidentially appointed Federal Advisory Committee to the U.S. Agency for International Development, established in 1975 under Title 12 of the Foreign Assistance Act, as amended. BIFAD's purpose is to advise USAID on ways that it can leverage the formidable research and educational assets of U.S. universities to help the agency achieve its goals for agricultural development, broadly defined. BIFAD is a strong advocate for the importance of research in shaping the development of and application of technologies and critical decisions that support the fight against world hunger and poverty. The operation of BIFAD is governed by the Federal Advisory Committee Act, or FACA, which emphasizes public involvement through open meetings such as this online ag exchange on priority issues of interest to the agency in accordance with BIFAD's mandate. BIFAD also commissions reports, convenes conferences and workshops as needed on topics of interest to the agency. I'm joined this week by several members of BIFAD who will be participating in the discussion over the next few days. These include Dr. Pamela Anderson, former Director General of the International Potato Center, Dr. Carrie Fowler, Executive Director of the Global Crop Diversity Trust, and Dr. Gabisa Ejeda, Professor of Agronomy at Purdue University and World Food Prize Laureate. Other members of the board who could not be with us this week are Chancellor Harold Martin of North Carolina A&T University, James Ash, attorney with the Bush Blackwell Law Firm in Kansas City, and for President Wadeb Cruzado of Montana State University. The three-day event will frame a research agenda around the themes described in the results framework of the Global Food Security Strategy, with emphasis on the strategy's three objectives. First, inclusive and sustainable agriculture-led economic growth. Second, a well-nourished population, especially among women and children. And third, strengthened resilience among people and systems. I'm excited to kick off the event with a webinar that incorporates participation from interagency partners in global food security, USAID and USDA. Dr. Ann Bartuska, Acting Undersecretary for Research, Education, and Economics and Acting Chief Scientist at USDA, will give opening remarks, followed by Dr. Sahara Moon Shapatan, Deputy Assistant Administrator in the Bureau for Food Security, USAID, and Dr. Rob Bertram, Chief Scientist of the Bureau for Food Security at USAID. These presentations will be saved on AgriLinks for those of you who wish to hear them later. Following the webinar, We'll go into an online session on prioritization of research investments in order to frame the discussion. And then, over the next three days, we'll address the themes of nutrition, agriculture-led economic growth, and resilience in that order. Finally, on April 20, day three of the Ag Exchange, BIFED members and I will come back together with U.S. government leadership for a live webinar from 3.30 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in order to summarize the key takeaways and to share insights and reflections. The formal moderation will end at that time, but if you didn't have time to engage and would like to post a comment, the Ag Exchange will be open for an additional day, closing at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday, April 21. I encourage everyone to review the framing papers and accompanying slides and audio available on the AgriLinks website. These materials will help to frame and inform our discussions over the next three days. 
The full text of online discussion will be available here on AgriLinks, and minutes of this meeting will include a description of the matters discussed and any conclusions reached by BIFAD. Again, a warm welcome to everyone, and we look forward to your active participation in the Ag Exchange.